If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Nobody's running for uh, governor. He's the other option on the ballot. Karen is obviously a great choice as well, but he's going to speak to you about voting for nobody. <laughs> we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that we are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that it is to secure these rights that governments are instituted amongst men, deriving their just powers from the consent of, go of the governed, and that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, well it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. That is where we stand today. I I felt sad listening to the first speaker because I used to feel about this flag the way he feels about it now. I used to reveal the founding documents of this country so much that I've got memorized big hunks of them. That was the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence, if you didn't recognize it. But what I see today, I moved to New Hampshire because the other 49 states are lost causes. Okay? And my belief is, if New Hampshire continues to keep its wagon hitched to California, and to New York, and to New Jersey, we, they will be an albatross around our necks, and they will drag us down into socialism and slavery. And I, for one, would rather let them go to hell in their own way than not take me with them. There are people who feel that they're safe walking around expressing their political opinions openly. I used to believe that. I was even a host of an anarchist uh, radio show. And a man named Phil Christiana of the Joint Terrorism Task Force of the FBI came and arrested me for weed and threatened to put me in prison for 81 years. Well, what did he want me to do? Was he looking to make a huge drug bust? Nah. He wanted me to set up that man that just spoke to you, Ian Freeman. He wanted me to entrap him into selling me some weed, even though that's not how any of that worked. I sold him weed. But that's not what the FBI cared about. They cared about using the law, the law as a weapon against a political enemy. So I've been snitched in a year and a half, oh well. The point is that your government today is doing things that you think only other people's governments do. It is engaged in murder. It is engaged in extortion. What is it? What's the difference between Brinks Home Security and the Mafia? Brinks, when Brinks Home Security sends a salesman to your house and says, we want to sell you the security plan, and you say, no, I'm not going to buy it. They don't tell you, well then, we're going to kill you. The Mafia says, if you don't buy our product, we're going to come and burn down your house. We're going to come and kidnap you. We're going to come and torture you. We're going to come and kill your children. Now, which of these agencies is the government most like? What does the government do when you don't want to pay the taxes to fund the madness that they call public policy? 
they throw you in prison. That's what they do if they don't kill you. That, for those of you who noticed, is why I took a knee when they were doing the, uh, doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Because I cannot be, I cannot have allegiance to a power which is at war with me. That would be insane. That would be welcoming my own destruction. And I do not welcome my destruction. And I will do everything I can, if you make me governor, to keep this state the freest state in the nation and to make it the freest state in the world. Right on. The first thing that I will do when I take office is I will pardon every victimless crime in New Hampshire history, starting with the gun crimes. Okay? I'm not talking about shooting people. I'm talking about being in possession of a firearm. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of the free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms will not be infringed. Every single gun law is unconstitutional by the federal constitution and by the fake state constitution. It is time to stop negotiating rights away with the NRA and take matters into our own hands. I feel much better. That was kind of cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, oh, I guess I'll do my uh, my other campaign promise is that I will never unironically refer to myself as His Excellency. Because yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> ah. Well, I appreciate you letting me rant. I feel much better. I hope y'all will vote for me. It, it probably won't change the outcome of the election. One vote doesn't. But if the message you want to send is that you're as mad as hell and you're not going to take it anymore, say it with a vote for nobody. Because nobody knows how to live your life better than you do. And nobody deserves that kind of power. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.